Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube video modeling series using Blender. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model the Team Guy Soccer Ball. Now the Team Guy Soccer Ball was first used in the uh, World Cup in 2006, the Germany World Cup. So uh, in order to complete my soccer ball modeling series, this is the only soccer ball that I haven't attempted to model yet. So this new tutorial uh, developed by me will show you how to model it step by step. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this default cube. So I'm going to press X and delete it away. And I'm going to bring in an image for reference. So I'm going to split my view into two. My right hand side, I'm going to change it into a UV slash image editor. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So click on image, open, and I'm going to open up this reference which I found conveniently found on the internet and then on my 3D view I'm going to create an image plane or rather I'm create a mesh plane and uh, I'm going to go to press tab to go to edit mode and then I'm going to press U and UV unwrap it so that it's going to fill up all this uh, texture space and then I'm going to switch this to textured okay so because the original image is already uh, square and uh, it should fill up this uh, image plane very well okay I don't need this anymore so I can join this here so now I got my reference um, I'm going to go to object mode I'm going to switch to front view hit rotate along the x-axis then press 90 okay I can rotate this 180 degrees uh, just to get the words to look right Okay, so now I am going to push the image plane. I'm tumbling around here. Push the image plane back a little bit. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to create a UV sphere. So I'm going to tap the space bar, go to mesh, UV sphere, and select UV sphere. And the number of segments and rings, I want you guys to put 16 and 16. And click OK. Okay, and because now we're in a textured mode, uh, we're going to force this uh, UV sphere to be in wireframe mode. So I'm going to click on the object button here and force it to become wireframe. Okay, next I'm going to switch to front view. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is really I want to uh, delete away uh, the faces I don't need. I'm going to switch over to face mode. Press A to deselect everything. Press B to border select. Move the cursor to the corner here. Left mouse click and drag. And select half of the faces here. Press X to delete away the faces. Go. Uh, press number 3 to go to the right of a graphic view. Do the same thing but this time on the right side. Press B. Then start from the half. And uh, click on border select. I just uh, left mouse click and drag. Then press X to delete away the faces and next you want to delete away the bottom quarter here so press B start from the half here press X and delete away the faces so you end up with a shape looking like this now we are not done with deleting yet uh, there are still a lot of uh, faces that we need to delete so I'm gonna switch back to the front view um, Okay, I'm going to scale the uh, plane so that the circumference of the ball matches the uh, circumference of the sphere. Or I can do this, I can go to edit mode. Okay, and then I can uh, change my scale reference to 3D cursor. Then make sure I'm in edit mode, select all the faces. So right now when I'm scale, I'm scaling according to the uh, cursor location. Make sure your cursor is right at the uh, origin. If not, you press Shift C. Okay, Shift C will get the cursor back to the origin. Press S, and then I'm gonna scale it down. So you can see now it's scaling according to the cursor position. So make sure you scale it down until you get it close to the reference. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out to uh, object mode. I'm gonna select the image plane. I'm gonna slide it down until the center line, the center line of this border seam here matches the. Uh, the center line here of this uh, shape 
okay so now the next thing I want to do is I want to select the one eighth of this sphere go to edit mode press A to deselect press make sure you're in face mode okay in face mode press B B twice P uh, twice so in brush mode and then just paint over these suggested faces so I'm gonna paint over these faces and probably this one as well and then press X to delete away the faces so you end up with uh, this shape looking like this so now okay I'm gonna press 1 to go to front view to pan just hold down to your shift and middle mouse click and drag okay so now I'm gonna switch to vertex mode control tab switch to vertices and then just grab and move the vertices until it matches this shape here okay for this one I have to switch back to the median point again so that I can make sure you move the uh, only the x-axis here and avoid moving up and down for this one now I'm going to apply a subdivision so I'm going to press control 1 control 2 all right so that I can see what it looks like subdivided so I can do some fine tuning to get it right okay and also I want to apply a, modif a mirror modifier so I'm going back to well I can apply the modifier here okay I'm going to add modifier mirror okay the mirror just jumps down below here uh, I would like to I prefer the mirror to be above the subsurf modifier so just click on this area here, move it up the stack turn on Y and Z and also uh, for now um, do you want to turn on clipping? well you can turn on do clipping for now okay so right now I'm just I'm still modeling only in the front view so I'm going to carry on tweaking the shape until it matches okay so you don't have to worry about the this side here um, I mean the uh, you just need half of this for reference so it, I think I need to move the image reference a little bit more to the left so that this seam matches the center here so I'll go back to object mode right mouse click select this and move it a bit to the left okay go and select this shape again go to edit mode and I'll just carry on pushing this until I get it to look like this now so far we're only working in the front view so uh, we will have to look at the side view if you look at the side view you, you will see that this part here is might be a bit distorted and especially if you look on the top here you might not get the curve look that you that you prefer okay okay next I want to add another edge loop round here so press ctrl R middle mouse click so instantly you can see here here it's starting to look a bit box like so I want to select this corner vertex but I, I do not want to mess around by pushing and pulling it so in order to maintain the shape I'm going to switch the orientation of the uh, this manipulator and change it to the normal so I can just pull along the normals uh, while more or less to maintaining the shape uh, of the curvature okay this one I have to pull it up a little bit okay so now now this is important now the next few steps is important because I'm gonna do this quite a lot in order to keep this shape uh, conforming to the sphere so I'm gonna press A a couple of times and then making sure the pivot is at the 3D cursor at the center here at origin and then I'm gonna press the spherify command control shift S and move it all the way to 1 drag your mouse until it goes to 1 or you, bring, you can do this control shift S and then you press one and press enter so we're forcing the shape to become a sphere all right now I can tweak this a little bit further I'm going to switch this back to median point again the pivot back to median and just tweak this slightly so that I get a little bit much rounder curvature Okay, you want to get this as round as possible, and uh, you can use the image, the background image as reference. Okay, so once you're done with that, um, 
you want to duplicate this and uh, make sure it matches the ball but uh, in reality we don't really need the image reference anymore so I'm going to select the image reference I'm going to go back to object mode select the image reference and press H to hide it right so I'm going to select this uh, shape which we've created press tab and for now under the uh, the modifier I'm going to turn off the do clipping okay for now press press A to select all the shapes and I'm going to switch the pivot back to 3D cursor the orientation I'm going to switch it back to global press shift D to duplicate and right mouse click so they jump back to, to the original location press R followed by Z and uh, move your mouse and you can see right the, the numbers below here you have to rotate about 90 degrees first and then rotate the same shape R followed by X uh, 90 degrees 90 okay all right so you're in so that is in this orientation press this combination again to duplicate shift D all right right mouse click so it snaps back to place press R to rotate followed by Y and then uh, you need to rotate minus 90 degrees so while this shape is still selected press R again followed by Z and then uh, rotate by 90 degrees just type 90 press enter so now um, I'm gonna switch this turn it to a solid mode or rather shaded mode so you guys can see what it looks like so basically you end up with a shape looking like this okay I'm gonna switch to shaded mode or rather solid mode and by pressing Z then I'm going to select uh, set it to smooth okay so now we have the base shape of the soccer ball uh, that we can start to patch up and add more geometry so we'll just focus because of the thanks to the mirror modifier we don't have to work on the rest of the parts we just work on one eighth of the ball so uh, for this to work we have to first uh, split this face here these two faces here we're gonna I'm gonna ins insert an edge loop right here control R at one edge loop here I'm gonna do the same for this this uh, panel here control R control R insert an edge loop here next you just want to patch up go to edge mode select these uh, opposing faces like this okay and then you just press F and skin faces edge loops okay so if it looks weird like this that means the normals are facing the wrong way so you don't have to worry about this we can carry on we can fix that later select these two faces I think you have to select it in the sequence press F and skin it and in this case you can see this one doesn't have any problems so we're gonna carry on skinning select the opposing faces holding down the shift to add on selection press F skin faces okay now let's fix these uh, black lines this is because the normals are facing the wrong way gonna press A a couple of times to select all the faces press ctrl N and recalculate the normals outside so now it's fixed okay next we still want to add a few more edge loops Control R, insert one edge loop here. Control R, insert one edge loop here. Control R, insert one edge loop here. And then we're going to patch up this hole. So I'm going to switch to vertex mode. Select these three vertices. All right. And press E to extrude. Right mouse. So when you're extruding, you automatically will be moving around your mouse. Right mouse click so it snap back to place. I'm going to turn the pivot point to median. Press S so that they'll come to the same point. Okay, you don't have to go all the way. Just left mouse click here and then press this combination alt M to merge the three vertices together okay and then now we can start to patch the holes go to edge mode select two opposing faces press F select two opposing faces and so on alright so we more or less we created the ball but uh, we still need a little bit more topology so that later we can get a much nicer seam when we extrude the panels out so I'm gonna press Ctrl R, just insert one edge loop across here, Ctrl R, one edge loop across here, Ctrl R, one edge loop across here. 
Okay, I think that, that's pretty pretty much it. So the next thing is we need to uh, apply the Spherify a few times. Press A a couple of times, um, and I think it's better to switch to vertex mode. Press A to select all the vertices, and then press uh, Control Shift S. Oops. Okay, if you encounter this problem, that means that our this uh, pivot point is set wrongly. We should set it back to the three D cursor. Now remember, your 3D cursor has always have to stay at the origin. If not, press Shift C to reset the cursor back to the origin. Okay, now we can try the verify uh, command again. Control Shift S. Okay, and then I'm gonna press one and enter. Okay, so now here comes the uh, extruding the panels. So I'm gonna press A to deselect. I'm gonna shift back to face mode. Press. BB a couple of times. I'm going to select the ground panels here like so and then press Control i to invert the selection. This is what I want to uh, extrude first. Now remember this step. This step is pretty crucial otherwise you will not get the seam to look right here. Okay, so uh, first of all, just turn on do clipping in the mirror mod modifier first. Press E to extrude region. All right, right mouse click so that it snap back to place. Press uh, Alt S to bring the shrink a flatten mode up first, and then I'm gonna uh, type in this uh, value, point zero. No, sorry, correction. Alt S, okay. Uh, the value is negative 0 0.03. Okay, you want it to shrink, flatten, extrude downwards. Why shrink, flatten? Because it gives a much flatter uh, extrude. Okay, now turn off the do clipping and then press E again to extrude region. And I'm gonna use uh, right mouse click to let it snap back to place. And I'm gonna use the shrink, flatten again, Alt S, and then uh, give it a value of 0 0.03 and press enter and that's it voila you got your team guy soccer ball with all the proper seams and if you want to the ball to be in one piece then all you have to do is uh, first of all apply the mirror first I'm gonna turn on do clipping apply the mirror okay for the uh, subsurf you can bring it down alright this is the lower subsurf level and then you can apply it so now you got the full geometry of the Team Guys soccer ball. So essentially this is how you model the Team Guys soccer ball. So hope you enjoyed this video and uh, maybe you guys can give it a try. Thanks for watching again.